Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Dylan R and we're once again in Red Dead Redemption. Uh, kinda took a little camp nap here, relaxed out, and we're at the next spot of our inquiry. And we'll show you this. It is Water and Honesty right up ahead. So we're gonna just kinda walk up this hill. We'll need to ride the horse all the way up here. Uh, check and see what we have for a house here and see if we can buy it off them is I think the goal. Hello neighbor, how you doing? Mighty nice you evening want? we have. Howdy friend. I didn't know anyone lived out here. Whoa! Now you can't rob the place now, can you? Now get! Friendly old bastard, ain't you? I don't need me no friends, friend. We all need friends, old timer. We die alone, but we live among men. You know, I was interested in moving out this way with my family. Would you be willing to sell me a parcel of land? We wouldn't even have to speak or nothing. Land's too dry for farming. Bandits run all the cattle off. Why you want this land? I guess I just like the scenery. Well, I don't know. Maybe for $200 I could give you the deed to this land, find myself a place up in Blackwater. It's not bad. Although I never could stand the people down there. No, sir. It's a bargain at twice. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. Here you go then, partner. Good luck out here. So we now own this dump. It's all ours. I can change my outfit here. But it's ours. Home sweet home. And there's supposed to be some water here. So. Go back to my map. Got to talk to somebody somewhere. It hasn't shown up yet, so we'll probably uh, probably go back to this area and then go over and see this guy here real quick. Uh, and then we'll see. Hit the wrong button. We need this one to make a small little camp. And we can do a little fast traveling. Farland Ranch. Okay, now we need to go out this way and talk to this guy here real quick. Come on, buddy. Howdy. What are you looking at, buddy? See anything good? I'm going to stick a nice little jet leisurely run all the way down through here. See what we can see in life. Excuse me, gentlemen. Coming through. Yep, thank you, thank you. Hello. Oh, I no got here. Out this way. I see what you're doing. For, partner? I've been gathering some flowers for my wife. She's waiting for me back in the cabin. That's very sweet of you. And we've been together 50 years now, me and my darling Annabelle. She's always loved these these wild fever few that uh, 
grew around this place. You know. But she's, she's getting on now in years, and you know, it's hard for her to get up and about. You know. Sweet so of you. I want to want to bring her a lovely bouquet for our anniversary. I've seen quite a few flowers in my travels. If you'd like to help. Oh, yeah. Listen, these old fingers ain't what they used to be. Yeah, I'd love it. Sure, bring me, bring me any pretty ones you find, huh? Okay. Don't let the grass grow under your feet. So we gotta find three wild fever, three red sage, and a bunch of others. So we'll do that over time. We don't need to do it right away. We'll keep. Back there, I just passed. But that one there. Oh. Well, you better get that bad boy. Now we're in the rough sea. Rough part of the territory. See ya. Oh, we can play some blackjack here too. That'd be cool. You stay here to the play a little uh, black beauty, and we're gonna go in here and pull up a chair, drink a little sarsaparilla. You pay poker? Oh, I'm not playing poker with you today, sorry. I'm looking for a, a gentleman here. Careful there, friend. I sure did call him a cracker right to his face. <laughs> I think I care about that. Hey. Must be upstairs. Only thing I can think of. No harm done. You blind, clumsy, and both your fools. Both. Another wagon got robbed me in Mescalero yesterday. Uh, how do we get upstairs? I heard them rustles from Pike's Basin were heading in. How you doing? Must be some stairs outdoors. Hey, cow puncher, let me see them guns. Yeah, yeah. Ain't going that way. Feel like sitting in for a hand or two? Oh, geez, how do you get upstairs? Excuse me, mister. I'd give me some breathing room, I were you. I'll take you down without breaking sweat. Interesting. This is the guy I need to talk to. Excuse me, mister. Yeah, what the hell do you want? Look, don't ask how. But I know what you're about to do. You don't want to do this. The hell are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about, mister. I'm just here to say I don't think you should go through with it. Your wife, she loves you. Shit, mister. I don't know who or what you are, but I guess I'm grateful. 
guess you're right. I was raised better than this. Don't mention it. Go on now. Okay. Okay, that's all we had to do. Okay. All right, I'm going. I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> 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 coach is the safest way to travel around these parts. I can go a little faster. What you waiting for? Take a slice. Oh, uh, let's see. Um. Hurt you in a million pieces. McFarland's ranch, please. And don't charge extra if you sleep. Whoa! Yeah, I'm not in the mood for that challenging. I can sure use a nap, Parker. Take a nap and make it a real quick run. Don't need to sit there and watch the whole thing. Got you there, sir. Thank you. Let's see what Miss Bonnie has. Excuse me, Mr. Marston. Have you seen my father anywhere? No. He went out this morning to ride the land and was supposed to be back hours ago. I don't know. The ranch hands have been out looking, but so far they've found nothing. Well, come on, let's go look for him. Well, come on, well, let's see if we can find the old goat. Giddy up! I've got a bad feeling about this. It's not like him to be away for so long. No worries, we'll find him. He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? Your father can still handle himself just fine, Miss McFarland. He's built like an oak. You're probably right, but I can't help worrying. He's all I've got. So oh, fine. Don't you have any brothers or sisters, Miss McFarland? I had six brothers, but five of them died, either from sickness or foolish choices. And the other one? He left for the east and never came back. Must be getting on for ten years ago now. He's a high and mighty banker in New York, according to his last letter. He should be here, helping you and your pa. I don't want his help. He can live his life any way he wants. But when I see those city fellers coming in on the railway, all dressed up like a sore toe, I fear a little for his soul. He switched his saddle for a tie, and that's fine. I just never met a man in a tie I could trust. I ain't neither, miss. <laughs> Look, yeah, I think I see more. someone. Let's go. Daddy, what happened? Nothing nice. Wrestlers, I guess. Maybe the Baller twins, that bunch. Now you head back to the ranch right now and fetch your wagon. Yes, sir. Marston, you watch after her. I'll do that, sir. Hey! Let's go! What could have happened to those poor men? And their horses were dead too. I think we should get Wait back there can. as soon as we can. Please stay close. Who could have done something like that? Your pa seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get the wagon. Those damn rustlers. I've got a good mind to head over to Pike's Basin myself. I don't think that's a good idea. And you're no better. How many men have you killed? Do you really want to know? It's disgusting. You never met the men I killed. I heard the way you talk about that gang you were in. Like there was some twisted morality to what you did. We all have a code. Only some of us don't realize. The outlaw with the code? How wonderfully romantic. The reluctant murderer, the noble criminal. There's nothing more depressing than a man who's found a way to think the bad into good. Oh my God, the barn's on fire. Come. Terrorized the town folks. I was just coming up there. 
Jeez. Mr. Marston, the barn is on fire! Yeah! Help me, will you? It's getting worse! There ain't enough of us! There's no way in through the front! We gotta get to the get horse! Get a move on! Let's come on! Try to get in through the loft, Mr. Marston! Climb up the windmill! This way. Up. Put it out. Stuff, hot stuff. Smoke inhalation, anybody? You sure know how to handle yourself. Thanks, Marston. Yes, John, thanks. You, well, you saved the ranch. If you'll excuse me, I, I've got chores to attend to. Hey, wh wh hold on a second over there. Sincerely, John. Thank you. Well, I did all I could, Miss McFarland. What about going to get your Sorry dad? Sorry about all the damage. That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well... My father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're going to be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. Good. John, my family owes you a great debt. I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with... People I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Um. Well, you get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's bearing up. Okay. What about, uh, Interesting. We never took the wagon back out. We came back and did the fire, but never went back out. Hopefully she sent somebody there. Because we didn't. So let's see who we have left here. We got uh, West Nile Marshall to do. I think... Oh, what do we have over here? This is the flower. Yep, so we still need to uh, do that quest. I think we'll fast travel back to Armadillo. Don't think I can put a thing up here, can I? I didn't want that. I didn't think I could. I had to come back out here.
Oh yeah, I could just take a shortcut here. You either just come out this way a little bit. Take basic horse sight here. And travel to the destination to Armadillo. Oh, night time here, too. Let's go. You think I'm a dope? Go on, then. Laugh, bitch, laugh. Jackass. I do beg your pardon. Better watch it, son. You want to die? I grabbed the wrong one. They leave town. I grabbed the wrong one again. Didn't mean to do that. I have a heck of a time getting up on that thing to. Come on, buddy. Come over this way. Oh, we'll get some sleep until morning. Okay. Okay, we got a nice little sleep until daylight. Took a couple of sleeps to get daylight, but Come on. now we'll be in better shape. Everybody should be forgiven back here. Come over this way and talk to the sheriff. Come on. The sheriff, what's happening? I don't have a clue. All right, but it's got to be something to do with that government boy. We'll talk to him, find out what he knows. Fucking is. Where is she, Marston? Who? Who? My daughter, you fucking scum! Where's Bonnie? I don't know. I haven't seen her since after the fire. Why? Why? Because she hadn't been seen since yesterday afternoon. You know, I don't think I can cope. If I lose another child... Now, Drew, nobody's lost anything yet. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, Mr. Marshall! Mr. Marshall! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Who the hell's that? Hey, buddy! <laughs> that be your next fucking mare. Even better! Good day, Mr. McFarlane! Get down from that horse, boy, or I'll shoot. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, mister. Not if Drew McFarlane wants to see his bony back in one piece. Hey, Mr. McFarlane! This is a nice girl you got there. Get down from there! You know, part of me's got the thinking I should just marry her myself. Give her a baby and that. What do you want? That's better. I want Norman Deke. I want him set free. Then you'll get your daughter back, mister. We don't do deals with outlaws, boy. Yeah, you do! Let's not waste each other's time pretending otherwise. Old government themselves ain't much more than a bunch of crooks. This is the land of opportunity, mister. And I'm giving you the opportunity to get your daughter back before 15 friends of mine take out all their anger and their loneliness on her. Where the hell is she? Where is she, boy? Bring Deke up to Tumbleweed in a couple hours. And don't get no funny ideas, or I will slit that horse throat myself! You boys have a pleasant afternoon. Yeah! What do we do? We do as he says. You and me, Marshal. Mr. McFarland, I'll get you your daughter back. I owe her that. Please do. Respect 
Hurry up, boy. Let's go. Quick as you can, deputy. Make sure he's tied on good. Stay with me, Marston. I won't let anything happen to her, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Let's go get Miss McFarland back. Let's take him out. See, this is what happens when the Federals interfere in our affairs. Are you happy now? No, I ain't happy at all. And I already told you, I ain't with the government. Now you say that, John, but the only thing I know for sure is who sent you. They made me come here. They gave me no choice. That's your federal government, Mr. Johnson. They come down here dressed as cocky as the King of Diamonds, talking a lot of flannel about helping us, about spreading peace and civilization to the West, but they brought nothing but trouble and taxes. I agree with you. Wolves in cheap clothing, all of them, rob you, then make you pay to have someone investigate the crime on your behalf. People around here have been fooled into feeling protected when they're worse off than they were before. The fellas I know don't care about people. All they care about is lining their pockets. Why is this son, son of a bitch so important to them? Norman Deke Williamson, right hand man. In other words, a glorified errand you boy. Wait, Marshal! I'll be back for you! Bill's standards have slipped! We already filled you with lead once, you ugly bastard! That's the kind of man who's mean enough to be second in command, but too cowardly and stupid to ever be a leader. Don't ever use that line near your deputies. You know, for his sake, they'd best not have laid a finger on Miss McFarland. Yeah! What is this place we're headed? Tumbleweed? A lonely, godforsaken place. Some people say it's haunted. It was quite a town back in its day. Then they built the railroad to Armadillo and went clean past Tumbleweed. And that was that. Pretty soon, everybody had up and left. Now it's just thieves, smugglers, and bandits. Scum like Deke here. A whole popular spot for lynchings, too. Let's try to avoid that if we can, Marshal. I just hope you're not taking advantage of the McFarlands, Marston. They saved my life. They gave me food and bed when they had no idea who I was. I owe them more than I can ever repay. That's just they've been through a lot. Well, they're both vulnerable in different ways. I wouldn't have been running in and out of a burning barn to save their horses otherwise. Oh, I know you helped. Just like you helped me. But you got your reasons for doing it. It's no secret why I'm here, Marshal. I told you the very first time I walked into your office. I trust you. Just all this business with Blackwater and Williamson and the past, I don't know. Sometimes it's hard not to have doubt. I understand. I never planned to be in the lawman business neither. How is this best supposed to turn out? Sending an outlaw to do the work of a lawman. That's madness. Ain't much difference between the two, as far as I can tell. There have to be rules, Marston. Even you must understand that. It's easy to make up rules, but they ain't much use if people don't understand why. Like my son. If I tell him not to do something, he'll do it anyway, just to spite me. If I punish him, he resents me for it. But if I show him why it's wrong, at least he has reason not to do it again. That's nonsense. Without laws, we're nothing more than animals. You look at Deke here. Well, he's got points. Go to him! Man has worked hard at civilization. Your boy steps out of line, you whack him. He does it again, whack him harder. You're a good man, Marshal, and I respect what you're trying to do. From what I've seen since I've arrived here, the law ain't really working. Criminals are like weeds, Marston. Quick as you stomp one out, another one sprouts up in its place. You think you're a man, do you? I can't wait for you to meet the boy. Where is this place? Out in BFE, that's for sure. I'll curb you myself, I swear! Tumbleweeds across the bridge! Easy there. John, you'll be exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. Keep your eyes open. I sincerely doubt these scum plan to play fair. Fair my ass. You bet. Besides, Norm here is going to be my shield, ain't you, Norm? <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. John, you lead Deke into town. Make the exchange. I'm sure it's been nice for the boys to have a whore to play with. 
I hear them. Come on! Let's get going! You get yours, you son of a bitch! Maybe she won't want to go home. She's been fucked so good. Why don't you save some of that breath for breathing? What are you waiting for? Untie me, fillers! Wait! Where's Bonnie, you bastards? <laughs> Trusting son of a bitch, ain't you? I was trying to be quick about it. I should have took my time. We'll do it the right way this time. Where's Bonnie? I thought we had a deal. Well, you thought wrong. We don't make deals with the law. Okay, we did it. Not the way. Are you okay? Nicest way, but. I'm fine now, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> what the hell took you so long, stupid man? Well, you weren't exactly helping me. If you think I'm gonna lower myself by making a joke about being all tied up, you got another thing coming. Come on. <coughs> What are you going to do? And there we go. So, that is, I think, this episode. It's quite an exciting little one. So, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like. If you're new to the channel, give me a subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one.